the Clipio wind farm, one of the first wind sites in South Africa. It consisted of about three wind turbines. At the moment, we procured in South Africa about 4 gigawatts of, of wind energy uh, with the average wind farm size of about 40 turbines and 80 megawatt. So that the initial wind farm was, was merely a research facility. The turbine we are looking at was a Jumont turbine. It's a stall turbine with a permanent magnet generator. So Hartek came into uh, being in 2010. Uh, 2011 was built in 2012 and uh, was always supported by ESCOM and uh, ESCOM uh, donated the machines. It's a German, it's a gear, gearless uh, machine. GIZ supported uh, the planning, so did uh, the, the partnership Western Cape Bavaria. Uh, we will take that machine back to Saratech in Belleville at CQT campuses for training purposes. Um, essentially, it consists out of three parts. The, firstly, they decommission the rotor section, which is the part that was taken down that, con that holds the blades. I think at the moment we, we built some capacity in erecting wind turbines, but this was now the first time we had to decommission a wind turbine. And the decommissioning of wind turbines it only comes with a couple of challenges. And in that specific situation, we got a wind turbine without any existing OEM anymore, without any drawings, without any measurements, um, without any existing lifting equipment. So, so we started from scratch and together with Saratech, we had to make a plan uh, how to take it apart. the crane company with on board in order to assist with the procurement of all that lifting rigging equipment. Uh, we decided to, to take it apart with four lifts. The first lift was the rotor system consisting of three blades and the hub. The next part of the section will entail taking down the nacelle, which is the round section at the top, which weighs quite a bit. The nacelle was probably the most challenging component to, to disassemble, with, with a weight of, uh, of about uh, 35 to 40 tons, and we wasn't sure about the weight distribution of that component. The interesting part about decommissioning a wind turbine are always the upcoming challenges where you need to improvise and to make a plan. Okay, the load is yours. Slew to your left. Slew to your left. The load is yours. In this specific scenario, we had the nacelle direction which we could not align with the crane stand. We had to make a plan how to turn the nacelle in the right direction, which posed quite a challenge because we didn't have any power up in the tower anymore. The entire turbine was given to us by Eskim, and now currently we're sitting with two massive tower sections, a very large nacelle and wind blades. So the idea is gonna be is to take the tower sections and use them for at high training. So hopefully there's two things we'll be able to achieve. One would be to create, take the base tower and build a platform, which means we could do real at high training uh, on the sides and possibly mount a wind turbine blade on the side of the tower and use it as an inspection training. Uh, the hope is to use the top section of the turbine possibly and mount it separately and mount the nacelle on top of that short tower section where we can run all the subsystems, the generator, the, the water cooling system, the hydraulic systems, the electronic systems, and of course use this everything for training.
The South African Renewable Energy Technology Centre, CERATEC, is an initiative of the Department of Higher Education and Training through the National Skills Fund. CERATEC's primary purpose is to train wind turbine service technicians for the South African industry. Our vision is to sign long-term training contracts with global OEMs in order to train not only for technicians for the local market, but also for the global market. We are very excited at the donation by ESCOM of the Jumon Tower because it will allow us to become a GWO accredited training facility.